folks are saying that Count Ravenwatch discovered an alien manuscript in the Lorcrata ruins. Good thing you were there to help him. This used to be a place of repose, of learning. Now, I don't know. If my heart weighs this heavily, it is probably best if I leave this place. We are a respected school of swordsmanship. Our blade masters are matchless, our students disciplined and sharp. I've been ordered to find more recruits for our school. Once we were very selective on who would be allowed in, but now... A thousand apologies. My tongue doesn't know its proper place. Yes, our knowledge can be shared by all who desire proper training. Perhaps you would take the rights of Leckie's blade. Please speak to my esteemed teacher, Disciple Tafa at Makela. She's within. Potential is obvious. I can see you've handled challenges before. Welcome to our school, recruit. Are you here to prove yourself, as have so many others before you? Students prove themselves through the art of battle. Any fool can win a duel, but a master knows who will challenge her and where it will occur. You must think as the masters did. Learn not just how they fought, but when and why. It is a delicate matter. I am unsure how to say this, but something is amiss. I need someone who can recognize signs of danger to help me. The training is important, but so are the lives of our students, and they are somehow threatened. A shadow. My own senses are overwhelmed by the signs, such that I can no longer see the direction from which the danger arises. You can serve as my eyes and ears with a clear head. Many have said it before you, but you cannot hold a sword at this school until you learn the most important lesson, the one of history. Speak to Smith Nabinum and answer his riddles. He works at the forge. When he is satisfied, we shall talk again. Greetings to you, student. What knowledge do you seek? A strategy to slay your opponents, the strength to protect your allies, the power to split a kingdom in two. These things you may do and have done already, but these are not the arts I teach. Listen, this is a tale of Master Fidalia, Blade Master of Leckie's Blade. While on walkabout, Master Fidalia encountered a wagon. The wagon's owner was an uninjured woman facing an unmasked man. He held a battered axe, she a pristine blade. The woman said the man was a bandit who had already attacked her once. She begged Master Fidalia to intervene. Master Fidalia walked away, yet the woman lived to tell her tale. Why did she live? You see as Master Fidalia did. The woman claimed she fought the bandit, yet she had no wounds. Had she parried his axe, her pristine blade would be notched. Had Master Fidalia faced the bandit, the woman would have stabbed her in the back. Then hear the story of Master Aram Cessnit. Long ago, a foreign mage came to challenge us. He claimed his power a match for our blades. One by one, he dueled our students. This master of alteration could turn steel to mist at will. Every student lost. Master Aram was an initiate, yet he faced the mage and won. So handily, in fact, that his opponent made apologies and left forever shamed. Of all the students who faced the mage, Master Aram was far from the best warrior. 
How did Master Aram win the duel? You see as Master Aram did. The foreign mage claimed his power a match for our blades. Indeed, any steel that threatened him turned to mist as fast as one could blink. But a training sword is wood, and wood is nothing like steel. I tell you now the story of Master Aram's Cessnit's end. Long ago, Master Aram was the blade master here. In his last days, he called his favorite student to him. If she could give him what he wanted most, she would become the next blade master of Lecky's blade. That is what you must discover. Master Arm's legend is known by all, even the serving folk. Direct your questions to them, Halam, Unar, and Iman. Once you know what they know, return to me and give your answer. The stables are not as busy as they once were. Still, I will care for all beasts that seek shelter within. Anyone who knows of our school has heard of him. He was the master who brought the teachings to so many, tireless in his quest for perfecting the blade. In truth, no one knows. Many tales were told about his last battle with a group of bandits. Some say he survived and went on to roam the sands beyond Lecky's blade. I can't imagine that myself. It's good to see persons of renown traveling to Lucky's Blade to train with our masters. I wish you well, Traveler. Like many here, I came to Lucky's Blade to become a great warrior. Despite my training, I lack talent with a blade. I returned to my family ashamed. And then I remembered one of Master Aram's lessons. We do not choose when we rest. To give up the hard road is to bring suffering to the next traveler. Basically, never give up. Ten years I've trained since that day. I'm no master. But if my family needs me, I can defend them. Have you come to... No, you're not the provisioner from Sentinel. I've had to send farther and farther away for simple things such as salt and grain. Forgive me. These students mock my temper. You'd think I'm the old master's reincarnation the way they bellyache. In any case, I know only the stories, such as the one about the enchanted knives. He forbade Redguard trainees to dabble in magic. When a traveling merchant brought enchanted knives, Master Aram upturned the cart and chased the poor man into a sand dune. He wouldn't even use the metal. He threw the knives out after the merchant. Too much to do and too little time. want to discover what Master Aram's favorite student gave him, you must speak with the servants of Lecky's Blade. Excellent. Then tell me, what did Master Aram Cessnit want at the end of his life? What did his student give him? You see as the young student did so long ago. By that time, Master Aram was old and weak. No red guard wishes to die in bed, but it's shameful to take one's own life to avoid hardship. Master Aram left, not to die, but to face one last battle. You've learned what you must from me. Now it's time to test your mettle. Speak to disciple Rafa Afhaba at the dueling arena, and if you pass his test, you will meet with Master Fidalia for hers.
Here, the best blades of our generation train and hone their skills. You've seen many things, but do you think you can count yourself among them? Then we'll see the make of your steel in battle. My students have trained for seasons, but you have the experience of true battle. If you can defeat them all, then I will count you as an equal to them. If not, then I have no time for you. Ah, she's as sharp as a knife's edge even when she seems otherwise occupied. I see the way you walk, and it tells me you know how to handle yourself against others. Like Tafa, I have not seen anything with my own eyes. We are both unsettled, but the source is veiled. Perhaps it's the wind. Perhaps it's something more. Well, student, are you ready for this test? Only after this will Master Fedalia teach you. At attention, whelps! We've got a challenger! Look alive out there! I don't want to see sloppy swordsmanship! Come on, heavy sisters! Oh, let's dog You have more experience than our other students. I would not have accepted you as one, but I trust the judgment of the disciples. And of course, you've done well thus far. Then drink from the cup behind you. It holds a potent concoction to put you into a deep slumber. If you are worthy, Leki will reveal a vision to you. Retrieve Raifa's sword, Tafa's shield, and Nabinim's hammer from this vision if you can. When you awaken, take the armaments to the steps of the blade, the tower crowning our school. Place each item at its altar and show your respect for the lessons you've learned. I will meet you atop the tower. These items are symbols. If you can obtain them in the dream, they will be in your mind upon your awakening, carried in your thoughts. You've learned history and battled our pupils. This task requires your mind.
she hasn't the strength. You must be stronger. Another fine batch of flesh. Fedalia, you've done well. I beg you, stop this madness. Don't be weak. Now stand aside, for I wish to feed. No, I cannot allow this to go on. Fool, then I will take your blood myself. <laughs> My secret is revealed. I provided our old master with his life source, the blood of our students, but no more. Though it means my death, I'm glad you've witnessed this. Before you kill me, I must beg one favor of you. Destroy Master Aram Sesnit. He did. And now he's returned as a foul undead creature. A vampire. I could not raise my blade against one so revered, but no such respect compels him. I couldn't defend the students, couldn't even defend myself. The wounds have long since healed. I've already fallen to his curse. It is how he compelled me to call for more and more students. Here, he feeds on our strongest. I'd hoped to stop him with your aid. I was too weak. He sleeps beneath our monument to him, in the graveyard. Go after him before he has a chance to escape. The other disciples, tell them what I've done. Whatever atonement they ask before I die, I will gladly do it. <laughs> Did you speak to Master Fidalia? What? You mustn't jest of such things. What did she say, truly? Your manner shows no deceit. How? How did this happen? Now I know you lie, for he's been dead for almost a century. Yet the legends never did speak of his death. Sep, take you! I won't hear another word! Be gone, and I will wait for Master Fidalia to tell me the truth of it! My disciples, this stranger speaks the truth. We must go to the graveyard. We will explain more soon, but for now, call upon an arbiter. She must hear my confession as well. I've had enough of your accusations, outsider. I'll hear nothing more until I speak with Master Fidalia. Lecky, grant me strength. I must not delay any longer. I must call an arbiter to oversee my punishment. 
Lucky protect you, friend. The fools haven't the strength to face me. So they send an outsider? Pitiful. So, you are the one the others spoke of so highly. Master Fadalia has brought shame upon Leki's blade. I would hear your thoughts before adding my own. Master Fadalia summoned me. For matters of honor, many turn to an arbitrator for counsel. And when the situation necessitates, I am willing and able to execute justice. That is precisely why. Both Rifa and Hafa are too entwined to offer clear counsel, and I, on the other hand, have only just arrived. You have touched everyone present. As I said before, I would hear your opinion before I render judgment. I called an arbiter here to decide my fate, but she wished to speak to you first. Whatever she decides, I will submit to. It is the only justice I can give to the ones I've wronged. And so it comes to an end, with all of us gathered together at the last. The student, the disciples, the master, and an arbiter. Since your revelation, I've been in torment. Master Fedalia always put the school first. When provisions run low, she goes without. When new weapons arrive, she tests them herself, lest the students be hurt by imperfect blades. No! No. One such as she must die for her lies, for her traitorous actions. She behaved without honor through these past months, hiding this shame from everyone. Clemency is not for one such as her. And yet, I will miss her guidance. To think it has come to this. Never in my years of study has such a case been brought forth. Never! The undead have no place in Alakir. And yet, Master Fedalia has guided us prudently, courageously. Do we throw away the basket with one broken reed, or do we repair it? Now we know her true nature. We can be prepared for anything. The Masters teach us to recognize danger. She is dangerous, yes, but not such that we should cast her aside. We can help her, and she can still help us. Have you made your decision? That is precisely why. Both Rifa and Hafa are too entwined to offer clear counsel, and I, on the other hand, have only just arrived. You have touched everyone present. As I said before, I would hear your opinion before I render judgment. That is what Disciple Rifa Afhaba said as well. But I ask you, if Master Fadalia lives, Will she become as the old master was? How can Leki suffer an abomination to exist, even if it is for the good of the school? Think on this before answering. In truth, it is what I thought as well. Master Fedalia has served the school faithfully. It was not her desire to fall to a vampire. But it would not suit the school for her to remain. Come, and I shall render judgment. Adalia, your life is spared. Leave, and never return. No, I must pay for my crimes. I cannot live with this shame. An outsider pardons this traitor? I will have no part of it. Remember the Master's riddle. Bow and accept your exile with honor. I... forgive me. This is my duty. I accept it gladly. 
Ever shall you scour the sands and protect our people. So it is written. Master, be at ease. I will protect the school in your place. Exiled. My torment shall be without end. I know Rifa considers this merciful, but it is not. I do not blame you either. Not now, at any rate. Justice sometimes wears a mask. Kindness, revenge, duty, fate. What mask did my choice wear this day? Only time will tell. I still can't quite believe what's happened. I'm not sure how I will explain it to the younger students. No matter, Lecky's blade needs a strong leader. This duty falls to me. There's no one else. I'll certainly not be a replacement for the master, but I will try my best. I must for the sake of the school. It will go on, as it always has. Let it not be said that we shirk our responsibility when need arises. I will make master for... That is, the former masters, proud. And now we must be vigilant against the old master, who knows our secrets and our ways. If I see her again, I will gladly fight her to her death. For the honor of Lecky's blade, 